Today is the deadline for active duty members of the Army to be vaccinated against COVID-19. The deadlines have already passed for the Navy, Marine Corps and Air Force. In fact, the Air Force has discharged 27 service members for refusing the vaccine. Texas Today's Barry Roy is live in our newsroom with a reminder of the Pentagon's message for service members who refuse to vaccinate. Barry. Yeah, good morning to you both. Uh, the more than 82% of active duty troops across all military branches have received at least one dose of the COVID-19 vaccine. That's according to the latest numbers posted by the Department of Defense. As of December 2nd, the Army is 96% vaccinated. According to numbers released last week, more than 245,000 Army personnel are partially vaccinated, while more than 560,000 are fully vaccinated. The data was made public on the Department of Defense website, which includes active duty, reserve, and National Guard members. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin announced in late August that all U.S. service members will be required to get the COVID-19 vaccine. He left it to the military branches to draft their own policies for how and when troops should be vaccinated. Department of Defense Press Secretary John Kirby told reporters back in August that he fully expects compliance. Once you mandate it, as we've done, it's a lawful order. It's a lawful order. Um, and we fully anticipate that uh, that uh, our troops are going to follow lawful orders. And when you raise your right hand and, and you take that oath, that's what you agree to do. As for discipline for those that do not follow those orders, that's not exactly known at this time. But back in October, Army Colonel Aaron Bauer was quoted as telling a Kansas City radio station those that refuse the vaccine may be administratively separated from other soldiers, although that's unclear what exactly that means. We should find out more in the next few days or weeks ahead. Chris and Tahesha, we do want to note that Army reservists and National Guard members have until June to get vaccinated. All right, Barry, thank you very much.